Hi guys, welcome back to another Vienna video. Vienna was recently voted the most livable city in the world and it's for a reason. It's clean streets, reliable public transportation system and incredibly high social security standards make it a great place to live. However, remember that this high standard of living comes at a price. Vienna is generally considered an expensive city compared to other cities in Europe. The cost of living in Vienna is above the European average, with prices for goods and services such as accommodation and food significantly higher than in many other European cities. However, your travel budget to Vienna can vary depending on your personal preferences and how you want to enjoy your stay in the heart of Europe. But there are several ways to have a positive impact on your wallet during your stay. So here are our money saving tips when visiting Vienna. Let's start with our tip number one. Consider staying outside of the city center. Vienna has one of the highest living standards in the world and is considered a very safe city. Always keep this information in the back of your head when you're selecting your accommodation. It's not necessary to book your hotel room in the inner circle of Vienna, which is the famous Wiener Ring and also known as the First District. Vienna's First District is in the city center and it is home to many of the city's main landmarks and attractions, including the Vienna Opera House, the Hofburg Palace. It is also a popular shopping and dining destination with a wide variety of stores, restaurants and cafes. It's a beautiful area with a very exclusive price tag. If you really want to save some money, try to find your accommodation in districts 4th, 6th or 7th as these are also considered very hip neighborhoods with unique cafes and people and is not at all far from the 1st district. Do keep in mind that Vienna's public transportation system is one of the best in the world and connects you easily with all the main attractions no matter where your hotel or Airbnb might be located. This is a huge plus and brings us to our number two. Use public transportation instead of taxis or Uber. Vienna's public transportation system is extensive and reliable, with buses, trams and the subway all available. It provides a convenient and cost-effective way to get around the city, a great option for most travelers. It operates seven days a week, on weekends and holidays even 24 hours a day. Vienna has five Five metro lines which are known as the U-Bahn. The lines are numbered U1 to U6 and they serve different parts of the city. Each line is color coded and identified by a letter and a number displayed on the trains and station signs. The U-Bahn lines serve many of the city's attractions making it easy to get around Vienna. In addition to the metro, you also have access to the bus and tram network of Vienna. There are over 100 50 bus lines and 20 tram lines in the city and they operate from 5 a.m. in the morning until midnight. If you're planning on using the public transportation system while in Vienna, Google Maps is your go-to app. There are plenty of other local apps but none beats the intuitiveness and data accuracy of Google Maps. Unfortunately, you cannot buy your ticket via Google Maps. You have to either get your ticket at the station or use the official app of Wiener Linien called Wien Mobil. However, if you don't want to worry about your ticketing situation, we do recommend you to check out our number three. Consider purchasing the Vienna card. If you're planning a trip to Vienna and want to make the most of your visit, you may want to consider purchasing the Vienna card. This pass allows you to access a wide range of attractions and discounts throughout the city as well as unlimited use of the public transportation system. The card is available in different lengths, 
ranging from one day to three days. So you can choose the duration that best fits your travel plans. The one day card offers access to over 200 tourist attractions as well as discounts at restaurants, shops and cultural events. The two day and three day cards offer even more benefits, including access to additional attractions and discounts on tickets for events such as concerts or theater performances. As already mentioned, the Vienna card also includes an unlimited pass for Vienna's public transportation system. This means you can use the city's buses, trams and metro lines as much as you want during the duration of your card. This can be a great way to save money on transportation costs and make it easier to explore the city. Before purchasing the Vienna card, it is important to consider whether the attractions included in the card are of interest to you and whether the cost of the card is worthwhile based on your specific travel plans. If you plan on visiting multiple attractions and using public transportation during your stay in Vienna, the Vienna card may be a great way to save money and make the most of your trip. When food stands on top of your to-do list, you have to check out our number four, restaurant discounts. Vienna is already a very well-known tourist destination, attracting around 7 million tourists a year. This popularity also affects the Viennese culinary scene. Vienna continues to evolve into a food city with great ice cream, coffee and pizza scene. But there is more on the horizon and tourists are often faced with this massive amount of incredibly high rated restaurants. What we always recommend to tourists is to look for restaurant discounts. Best website to do this is Fork.com. The Fork is a sub company of TripAdvisor and is a restaurant reservation and review platform that offers discounts at participating restaurants in Vienna and other cities around the world. To find discounts on restaurants in Vienna, you can use the Fork website or app and filter your results by the offers category. This will show you a list of restaurants that are currently offering a deal such as discount on the total bill or discounts on certain dishes. Keep in mind that you must make a reservation through the fork in order to receive this benefit. You have to present your booking confirmation upon arrival at the restaurant to receive your discount. It should be noted that not all restaurants in Vienna participate in the forks discount program and the specific discount rates available may vary from restaurant to restaurant. Talking about restaurants, I'm getting hungry. Let's get to our money-saving tip number five. Eat at local restaurants and cafes instead of more expensive touristy establishments. There are many options for affordable and delicious meals in Vienna. Vienna has a vibrant street food scene with many stalls and food trucks offering a great variety of affordable and tasty options. Some popular choices include schnitzel, sausages, and döner kebab or falafel sandwiches. There are many affordable restaurants in Vienna that offer delicious and well-priced meals. Here are a few options. Number one, Würstelstand. These street food stands offer a variety of sausages and other snacks at low prices. They can be found throughout the city and are a convenient option for a quick and cheap meal. The most famous one is the Bitzinger Würstelstand right in front of the famous Albertina Museum. Delicious variations of hot dogs or different sausages served with spicy mustard and a slice of brown bread. Austrian's most famous sausage is called Käsekreina. It is made with pork meat and spices and is typically filled with small cubes of cheese. Be cautious when biting into a hot Käsekreina, the cheese sometimes squirts out and is piping hot. Number 2. Gasthaus these traditional Austrian pubs serve hardly local dishes at reasonable prices. They often have a cozy atmosphere and are a great place to try some authentic Austrian cuisine paired with some delicious local wine. One of our favorites is a restaurant called Gaswirtschaft zum Nussgartel. Very good quality for slightly elevated prices but definitely worth a visit. Gasthäuser can be found throughout the city and are often located in central or convenient areas, making them a good base for exploring the city. Number 3. 
The last one is, of course, döner kebab. Probably Vienna's most beloved street food snack. Although it is more or less a whole meal, not only a snack. It is made by grilling thin slices of meat, such as lamb, chicken or beef, on a vertical spit and serving it in a sandwich or a wrap with vegetables and sauces. It can be found everywhere in the city, but some of our favorites are divan, sarai kebab and pizza, or oogies. But there are so, so, so many more in the city to explore. Let's get to our last money-saving tip, our number six. Look out for free events. Vienna is a city with a rich cultural heritage and a vibrant art scene. And there are many events and activities that are available for free or at a low cost. For example, there's free admission to museums. The Vienna Museum, the Leopold's Museum and the Money Museum are just few of the museums and galleries in Vienna that offer free admission on selected days of the week. To get a full list of participating museums, check out the page of the Austrian Ministry, which we have linked in the description box below. Number 2. Cultural Events Vienna hosts many cultural festivals and events throughout the year such as the Vienna Film Festival and the Viennale, which often has free or low-cost events. Make sure you Google before your arrival to plan it into your itinerary. Number 3. Classical Music Concerts if you're a big fan of classical music, you want to check out the Wiener Musikverein. They occasionally hold rehearsals that are open to the public. On particular days, they also offer kid-friendly concerts with the goal of introducing young listeners to classical music. For more information on the precise dates and times of these free events, it is a good idea to visit the Wiener Musikverein's website or contact their box office. Overall, you can have a fantastic trip to Vienna without going over budget with a little preparation and creative thinking. So guys, we have reached the end of this video and if you found it helpful, please like this video and subscribe to our channel. Let us know in the comments below which other topics are you interested in that we should cover in our upcoming videos. See you guys in the next one. Bye!